Well, good morning. It is finally Friday. So we have made it to the end of what was for most lucky folks a shorter work week. Today, though, we should see improvements. It's been kind of gloomy pretty much since the start, and today we finally break out into some sunshine. So here's a live look outside in East Lansing. You can see a few of those clouds out there, but they are starting to break apart. It's a chilly morning. Most of us waking up to temperatures starting out in the upper 40s. We should warm up at least into about the low low upper 60s low 70s later this afternoon currently temperatures this morning again it's a chilly start 50 degrees right now in lansing it's 54 in jackson the same in charlotte 52 outside in mason and many folks are still dealing with the clouds but again give it a few hours they'll break apart and we should see some sunshine by later this afternoon so for today expect a high in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees partly cloudy to start should turn mostly sunny by later this afternoon Tonight it gets chilly again, partly cloudy skies with lows dropping down into the low 50s. So satellite and radar across the area this morning, again still dealing with clouds mainly in our southern counties. And even as we head into the afternoon, clouds break apart. They don't go away completely, though I still think we'll see a decent amount of sunshine, mainly thanks to high pressure kind of stationed just to our north. That should at least keep us dry. Today, things do change though Saturday into Sunday with our next system rolling in. So here's a look at our future track as we go hour by hour. And today, again, heading into this afternoon, we will see those clouds thin out. Plenty of sunshine will be able to make it through those clouds, even if they do stick around. We should stay clear pretty much through the evening. Heading overnight, the clouds build back in, and Saturday should start dry. Notice most of the rain that comes through heads off to the north, at least to start. It's not really until Saturday evening, closer to around 6 or 7, that we'll start to see a few scattered showers working the way into the region. Some of the storms tomorrow could contain gusty winds as well as heavier downpours. That system, though, doesn't really stick around for too long. I think by the time the sun rises on Sunday, we should start to see that rain wrap up, and then by Sunday afternoon, the sunshine does return. So your seven-day forecast, tomorrow it will be a little bit warmer, a high of 76 degrees, showers and storms Saturday evening. They will linger at least through Sunday morning before we dry out in the afternoon. From there, turning partly to mostly sunny, a high of 74 degrees, uh, on Sunday. So heading into next week, thankfully it looks a lot quieter and also much sunnier. So we have something to look forward to for next week. Monday expected to be mostly sunny with a high of 69 degrees on Tuesday. More sunshine and a high of 72 on Wednesday actually gets quite warm, at least for this time of the year. We'll see mostly sunny skies and a high of 79 degrees, which is above average for this time of the year. We usually see highs about 75 for, for this time of the year, so Thursday will be pretty close. I do think we'll stay dry, but we'll see a slight increase in cloud cover, a high of 75 degrees. So though we do have a little bit of some rain this weekend, at least we have next week to look forward to with plenty of sunshine. All right. Thank you, Claire.